things in the way. Can you see? Um, this is just the blur. Okay. Yes. Now yeah. that's perfect. Great. Can you see that hug? Yes. Now that's perfect. Okay. All right. That's my neighbor's house. Okay. My wife is gonna um, help me out, and then what I'll do is put it outside so you can see what um, what I. Ah, so. oh, very pretty. <laughs> All right, here's my wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you today? Everything is great. All right, you're, we're breaking up just a little bit. So hi, nice to meet you. Hello. So Abby, you want to say anything? <laughs> um, how often do you get hurricanes? How often do we get hurricanes? Um. The hurricane season is from about May to October. And some years you get none, and some years you can get, like one year I think the most we got was about four. And in fact, we have one right now that's kind of just passed, it's called um, Ophelia. So if I can show you the water, it's really rough and ugly right now because Hurricane Ophelia just passed us. And we're supposed to have one, it's, it's, we're supposed to be having another one coming near, I don't know what that one's called. So some years a lot, some years none. So the, maybe this year one. like two or something? Pardon me? How many have you had this year? This year we haven't had any, but we had a few that came close. We had two that came close. So windy and rainy. So you can ask the follow-up question. How devastating are they? One more time. How devastating are they? Oh, we had one in 1984 named Hurricane Amelie, and we had one in 2008 called Hurricane Fabian. And those two, um, they did a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. But usually, um, I'll show you what a Bermuda roof looks like. Sometimes a, a roof part of your roof can come off, or you may have like a tree in your driveway, or a tree may end up in your house. And a lot of boats can get stranded on the rocks, um, that type of damage. No electricity for maybe two or three days. So that, that's a lot of the damage that we get. What's the weather like day to day? Day to day, um, warm, warm, humid, really humid. In the summertime, it's very humid. And around now October, the days will get a little cooler. But um, sometimes it can get about. 90. 90 with the humidity. Yeah, with humidity, but it's always a nice breeze. And in the winter time, the lowest it will get is about about maybe 70. 60, 65. Like, yeah. yeah, and 65 is like freezing. Oops, lost. All right, we're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that last part? Yeah, we got it. It gets down to about 60 or 65 in the winter. Is that what you said? And, and 65 is like major. It makes you front page and you pick. <laughs> everyone breaks out and gets beautiful coats. Like it's cool. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What kind of food do you guys eat? What kind of food do we eat? Uh, main Bermudian dish. Um, that's like the sun, every Sunday a lot of people will have codfish and potato with banana and avocado pear on the side 
But um, other than that, macaroni and cheese, peas and rice. Fresh catch fish. And fish, freshly caught fish. A lot of fish. <laughs> and fish cakes. Yeah, fish cakes. Uh, um, and fish cakes. A fish cake, it's like um, if you get potato and mash it up and add cut fish and add some seasons and you fry it up like a little patty. Fish cakes are on um, Easter time. Very popular. What do you do every day? Could, could, you, could you repeat that one? What do you do every day? Are you talking about his job? What? Or are you talking about just what they do for fun? What they do for fun. What do you do for fun? Do you get anything up what what do you guys like to do for fun? Yeah. Um summertime swimming. <laughs> Lots of swimming. Everyone lives at the beach. I'll go on the boat. Everyone around. go on a boat. Jump off the boat. Um, and out in the deep and fishing, the swimming, day. camp, like a lot of nice. You see everyone jumping off the rocks, swimming, 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 fishing, camping off on the smaller islands. Any little spot people will find, um, they'll put up a little tent and go camping. Um, but, and then your regular things, movies. Um, kite flying. Kite flying around Easter, Easter time. time. Everything else probably the same. Like my students, they like Xbox. <laughs> my neighbors like Xbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of jobs do you work? Or do people work in general? That's okay. What kind of jobs do people have? Well, I'm a teacher. But you can have a lot of, um, I guess, a um, major. You, you can find anything from um, hotel workers to insurance. This reinsurance. We have Oh, no, we lost you there for a second. Can't hear you. Okay. Oh, well, no. oh now that's good. There we go. There's a lot of static or something. All right. So you can have, um, like, your average business type jobs. You can have. And jobs are reinsurance. Those are the top companies from um, the U.S. that uh, they employ. So reinsurance, banking, and um, tourism. Okay. How big are families in? How big are families? How big are families? Yeah. Yeah, typically how big are families? How many kids do they have? Maybe two children. Pretty similar to here. Yeah. Two children in each family. Pretty much typical like America. Yeah. What languages does everybody speak? Do they? Does everybody speak English, or how many people speak Portuguese, or something else? The second language is Portuguese. So I would say maybe 30%, 20. 20 to 30% speak Portuguese. And then you can find little groups of uh, languages. But maybe English and they're not put Oh, lost you there for a second again. Can you hear us okay? Okay. Yep. What kind of food is grown in Bermuda? 
how the food is grown. We have um, not that much, but bananas, avocado pears, pumpkins. We're famous for our onions. We the onions have, mm -hmm. have put us in the map. And Bermuda onions aren't strong and they're sweet. Um, that is yeah, a lot of fruits and vegetables. Personal God, not pretty food. Right. How many students do you have in your school and class? In my school, we have about, it's a middle school, so it's grades 6, 7, and 8, and we have about 250, I would say, maybe around there. And in my year that I have one grade 8, I teach science, um, we have 67. Do you have any questions for me that you can share for with your students? Um, this is for social studies class. Yes. Yeah. I can ask you what types of subjects do you have? Um, while well, I'm in sixth grade, there's usually we have eight periods, so. We go, so I go to language art, I go to math for two um, periods and then language arts for two periods and then I have two electives a day in science and social studies. Okay, and your elective would be like music and drama and things like that? Yeah. What are your electives right now? My my electives right now are, go, are art and technology and then the quarter is almost over we have four more days and then the second quarter I have drama and vocal music choir all right so what time does school start and what time does school end for you um seven we start at 7 30 and we go to wow. 250 <laughs> 245. Yep, 7.30 to 2.45. Wow. So what time do you... <laughs> we start at 8.30 and we finish at 3.30. Yep. So what time... What time um, I wake up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> and you have an hour for lunch? Oh, we couldn't hear that. Hour for lunch. How much do you have for lunch? Um, we have 25 minutes. Yeah. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. Well, sort of. You're breaking up a little bit. Right now it's kind of frozen. Okay. So you only have 25 minutes for lunch? Yeah. So let me tell you, this is how our lunch goes. We, um, our students eat for maybe 20 minutes, and then they go outside. So when they go outside, they play um, football, well, soccer, netball. The girls, you know what netball? No. What's netball? Netball is another is a popular sport here. Um, women play it. It's like basketball. So it's good back to work and you can take the ball and you can take so many steps. Hmm. It's kind of like basketball, but it's a back. Interesting. So and basketball. that's what goes in the lunch time. Um, well, at our school, some of the boys, all we do is like hang around and talk when we're outside, but. We don't, you don't really have enough time to get a, a game even, going. Yeah. I do. <laughs> when I tell my students that you start at 7.30 and you only have 25 minutes, I can't hurt. Oh, lost you again. 
Let me show you um, one thing. I'll show you this house over here. I'll switch the camera. Okay. Can you see that house? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's my neighbor's house. It's for sale right now, actually. <laughs> but um, you see how the roof is? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. We collect, this is like a Bermuda College, we collect our rainwater from the roof. And so every house would have a tank underneath it. You have to keep your roof on white, right? so maybe every five minutes you have to brush the roof on and clean it. Because that's, that's your drinking water. I'm not sure you all have the tank. Is that pretty much the only place you can get fresh water from? Might have lost him. Oh. And that's my bike. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have, you can only have one car per house. So my wife drives and I take the bike to school. How far away from school do you live? It's probably like a 10 minute ride. Weed is only 24 miles long. Right. And that's my other orange. Were you both born on Bermuda? And every house, you find every house painted a different color. A lot of pests. A lot of white people do say pink, green. Also, as a color. Did you did you hear that? Heard heard some of it. Every house is a different color. Lots of pastels, very bright colors. Also. Were you both born in Bermuda? Yeah, I was, I was born here. And your wife as well? No, my wife is from St. Vincent. That's my wife right there. <laughs> Hi. And he's the back. Mm. So you can see all the um, white roofs. Yes. Probably keeps it a little bit cooler. <laughs> Yeah, we all, it seems like all our houses have black roofs. Yeah, most of our houses have dark roofs here. Right, right. A little colder in the winter. So that's what it looks like. Cool. Any other questions you can think that's of? That's a garden over there. I don't know if you can see. Is there anything else you want to know? No? Well, you can talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today. This is really helpful. It's just so much easier to uh, talk to someone who lives there and ask questions. Anything else? Anything else? Mm, no. No, I think that'll do it. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care. All right. All, All right. Best. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> All right.